Well, last year, 14 people were killed during the holiday season on Missouri roads by drunk drivers. This year, authorities say drivers are driving more intoxicated and really at all hours of the day. In Clay County, there are now two patrol cars and deputies solely devoted to catching impaired drivers. They'll be joined by deputies working overtime now through New Year's as part of a MoDOT grant funded campaign. We're seeing more DWIs during the day where we would normally see them in the middle of the night, two or three o'clock in the afternoon and higher than normal BACs. The driver who killed Preston Brayfield had a blood alcohol level four times the legal limit. You know, we had taught him so much. Don't drink and drive, especially with him just being 22 and young. Um, but we never had thought about him being a victim of a drunk driver. Brayfield was working with a crew to repair an Arkansas bridge when he was struck by a driver whose black box showed he was going 95 miles per hour two seconds before impact. The family made 11 trips to court over the past year wearing Chiefs red before finally seeing the driver Christopher Gould convicted of negligent homicide and put in handcuffs. And we got to do our victim's impact statement and was able to look our son's killer in the eye and tell him what he did to us. Not only did you kill him, but you, like you took a part of us. Gold was sentenced to 15 years. The Brayfields say they've been given a life sentence of grief. We don't want anybody to ever have to go through what we've done. If we can share our story and it saves somebody's life, then it's worth sharing our pain because there's nothing worse than losing a kid. In just the past week, Clay County says it's seen drunk drivers on the wrong side of the highway and topping speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. It's why throughout the rest of those holiday celebrations, they'll be on the lookout. And if they choose to make that bad decision, we want them to know that we're out here, that they need to drive sober or get pulled over. Now, both that family and deputies say if you want to make alcohol part of your festivities over the holidays, that's okay. Just make sure that you plan ahead for a designated driver or some sort of rideshare app. Christelle.